Hello ladies and gents, DK86 right back here with you and today I'm testing and reviewing the Tunnel Bear VPN service for Windows and iOS because they're the two I've used. Uh, this is a great service so let's take a look at it. Okay, so first of all, not everybody knows what a VPN is. So I'll uh, give you a brief explanation of what a VPN is and why somebody would use a VPN. Um, and then we'll get to looking at Tunnel Bear, which is right over here. So a VPN uh, is a virtual private network and people use them for different reasons. Um, one of the reasons is to remain anonymous when you're browsing online. Um, another reason is to trick um, a service into thinking that you're in a different country. So you can use services provided to that country um, even if you're not in that country. So a good example of this is if you're in the US and you want to access the BBC iPlayer network, which is available here in the UK, uh, you can use a VPN service such as Tunnel Bear uh, to trick the BBC website into thinking that you're in the UK and it will in turn allow you to access the BBC iPlayer um, on demand service. Lots of people also use it for Netflix so people in the UK would use a VPN to trick Netflix into thinking that they're in the USA so they can watch uh, shows on the Netflix USA service which is far superior to any other Netflix service in the world. So. Today we're going to be taking a look at um, the Tunnel Bear for Windows and iOS because I've used it on these two platforms. Um, I have the free account with Tunnel Bear right now so you get 500 megs for free and there's a way to bump that up by another gig or a gig and a half. Um, so let's take a quick look at their website. It's a really clean site, uh, Tunnel Bear for Windows. It's a really nice clean interface. Uh, you can download the Tunnel Bear right here. You literally click it, download the package, next, next, next and it's installed. Um, a few features of Tunnel Bear are that it's always on, it's a very simple design, I can vouch for that personally. Always vigilant, um, so if your connection is ever disrupted, then the Tunnel Bear will block all traffic until it's reconnected, so um, any website or service that you're looking at uh, still won't be able to tell your location even if your Tunnel Bear drops out. Uh, that's um, especially useful if you're on like um, a Wi-Fi network which isn't very reliable that keeps cutting out um, when it reconnects to the Wi-Fi network for example um, your location and stuff will be visible until Tunnel Bay reconnects so that's a really cool um, feature that they have built into this software it's extremely strong uh, encryption it's AES 256 bit encryption uh, it's brilliant um, I've got no complaints with that and Ghost Bear is another service that they offer which is um, included with your Tunnel Bear downloaded package um, which allows you to connect to the VPN service even if you're on a very restricted network. Now Tunnel Bear, Tunnel Bear allows you to connect to 20 countries throughout the world, uh, so all of these listed over here. They don't log any of your traffic. Um, it's lightning fast and I've done a few speed tests uh, to test this and yes it is actually fast as a VPN goes um, and it's trusted because they've got over 7 million users. Uh, here's a few reasons uh, why to use a tunnel bear or a VPN service. Um, I spoke about this a couple of minutes ago. So you have freedom from blocked websites and censorship, keeping your browsing and physical location private from hackers, ISP and third parties and is secure. Um, so you can browse safely on public Wi-Fi. So if anyone is trying to do, if anyone's snooping a public Wi-Fi network, um, if you're using a tunnel bear or a VPN service such as this, then um, you'll be safe because they won't be able to see what's going on on your personal connection. So yeah, all around it's a very good service and so far I'm loving it. Um, there's another page right here which is about why VPN and it goes into a few more details as to why you would use a VPN service such as Tunnel Bear. Um, it's very very good. It Tunnel Bear also blocks online trackers so if there's any um, trackers as in advertising on websites and stuff like that that actually track your location and browsing habits uh, the Tunnel Bear will block those too. Um, Oh yeah, and another thing I wanted to quickly mention was that I also use this on my iPhone and iPad 
So you have this section here and you download it on uh, the um, App Store. It comes up with this really good looking interface where it's a map of the world with all these tunnels on it. Now you click wherever you want to be browsing from and your bear goes into its tunnel and it pops out at the destination tunnel and then there you go, you're browsing from that country. So yeah, it's really good. It's got the same sort of options, um, well, same sort of features for the iOS app here. And it also has a feature for 3D Touch on the iPhone 6S, uh, where you can actually turn on your VPN service without even going into the app, which is really cool. Pricing wise, um, it's really cool. So you have the free service here, which is 500 megs every month. Um, you have the giant service here, which is $6.99 a month, that's in dollars. Um, so it's unlimited VPN uh, browsing for $6.99. Then you have the Grizzly service here, which equates to $4.16 a month, but they bill it yearly at $49.99. Um, I'm on the free service right now because I'm just testing this, but to be fair, I will be buying the Grizzly one because honestly, it's just worth it. This, this service so far for me has been excellent. And of course, they accept Visa, MasterCard, all these payment options, including Bitcoin and Jars of Honey. But I'm not sure how you pay with Jars of Honey. And to be honest, it would work out a lot more expensive if you're using that option. <laughs> so yeah, um, I did mention that uh, with the free service, you get 500 megs for free. Um, there is a way to bump that up. Uh, so they've got this Twitter promo going on right now, where if you tweet them, this uh, little tweet over here, they'll um, put another gig on your account. Um, you can do that once a month, every month. Uh, so it'll take you from 500 megs of free VPN browsing to 1.5 gigabytes. The thing is, Instead of giving me an extra gig of free browsing, it's actually been giving me 1.5 gigs on top. So I've been receiving two gigabytes free um, every month. Um, the tunnel service, the free service, uh, it just it works on um, five computers that includes tablets and phones. So now let's take a look at the actual interface. So you double click the tunnel bear logo and logo, I can't believe I call that a logo, it's an icon. You double click that and you're presented with this little box here. It's really good interface, really good looking design. And as you can see here, it says little tunnel bear. That means I'm on the free service. It's disconnected right now. I've got 1,630 megs of VPN browsing remaining. Now, if you click this privacy tab, your privacy is bare naked. They've got little puns like that all over the place and I really like that because it's extremely user friendly. Now, if we click the little gear over here and go to settings, you'll see here that there's a little general tab over here. So we've got desktop notifications on, launch at startup, I've turned that off. Vigilant, I've actually got that one turned on. The reason I've got that one turned on is because if you ever um, encounter a disconnect with your VPN service, this tunnel bear software will actually block all of your inbound and outbound traffic. So no one will be able to see what you're doing online, what website you're on, or be able to find your real location until the tunnel bear service reconnects. The thing is I've never had a dropout, but I've ticked this vigilant option here anyways, because it's a good thing to have. TCP override here, I haven't got that connected, but what that option basically does is tunnel bear works on a UDP um, connection. Uh, if that doesn't work for your network um, or your ISP doesn't like it for any reason, you can tick this box, it'll switch over to TCP. It's a slower connection, but it's more reliable um, and it should get you past any issues that you're having. Um, Ghost Bear over here is what I mentioned earlier, where if you're on a very restricted network, you can tick this and chances are by using Ghost Bear, you'll be able to get out of that really restricted network and continue using Tunnel Bear. IntelliBear I don't have right now because I am on the free um, little bear service, but yes, yeah, it's, it's fine anyways. Um, yeah, so let's close that out. And now over here on the drop down list, you have all the countries that you can connect to. So for example, if I want to browse Netflix in the USA, I could click United States and turn it on. So let's do that. So I click on and over here you can see it's connecting and bear with it. And it would take long now that I'm filming. And over here, 
you have a little pop-up here on the bottom right. It says, Bear, you <laughs> wearing a little American cap. <laughs> and I love the things like that. I mean, if you connect to France, you get a little French bear come up. So now we're browsing anonymously from the USA. Uh, mall trackers is on, so if there's any uh, trackers on websites, it will kill those dead. Now, if we go back to our browser over here and we go to IP location finder and refresh the page, it should say that we're in the USA, even though right now I'm in the UK. So let's wait for that page to load and there you go. Right now, that's our IP address and we're in the United States. So yay, it works. It also says that you can hide with a VPN on this website because even this website can't tell that we're actually using a VPN at the moment. So that's really cool as well. I did go on speedtest.net to do a few tests um, on my speed. So right, right now on your screen, uh, you'll be seeing my speed without using the VPN, uh, which was 17.49 megs down and 0.86 up. Um, yeah, I have really, really bad internet and mine is the only street in my town that hasn't got fiber broadband yet, but that's a story for another video because I am extremely upset about that. So 17.49 down and 0.86 up. Um, when I switched over to um, this one here, which was closest tunnel, um, it actually went up to 24 megs down and 0.7 up, uh, which is weird because that's not really supposed to happen uh, when you're browsing through a VPN. So I tested that again and it came back as 13.27 down and 0.87 up. Um, then I switched over to the USA and did another speed test and it went to 14.69 down and 0.88 up. Spain was 13.6 down and 0.84 up and Germany was 13.09 down and 0.8 up. So as you can see from my original 17.49 download and 0.86 up, no matter where I connect to, the difference isn't that big. I mean, the ping does go up, but everything else isn't really bad. I mean, I get about three or four megs um, lower in terms of download speed, but my upload speed is, well, consistent. Uh, it's always in the 0.8 sort of area for my upload speed. So yeah, it's really, really good. And I'm so impressed with this service, the software, the service, the iOS app. It works the same on Android as well, but I haven't put it on my Android phone. Um, yeah, I think it's great. And for the price, I really do think that this is a great service to actually invest in if you're interested in browsing anonymously, accessing content that isn't available in your actual country right now and all that sort of good stuff. So yeah, that's uh, my short review of Tunnel Bear, the VPN. Um, they, you can save 10% or something like that if you use the Linus Tech Tips code. I think the code is Linus, I'm not really sure. I mean, if we type in forward slash Linus, I wonder if that will work because Linus Tech Tips is always advertising Tunnel Bear. Yeah, purchase now, save 10%. So if you go to tunnelbear.com forward slash Linus, it'll bring you to this page here and you can buy it and save 10%. I'm not affiliated with Linus Tech Tips in any way. Tunnel Bear hasn't told me to do this video. Um, I'm doing this off my own back and I'm just doing it because I think this is a great service. Um, yeah, so save 10% by using the Linus Tech Tips link. Uh, that's probably what I'll go and do. Um, yeah, so Tunnel Bear, buy it now, it's a great service, I really, really think it's a really good thing to have. Um, so yeah, that's my short review. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm DKD6, thank you very much for watching, leave a comment down below. Thanks again, bye!